So let's do the rest of the box. Um, I don't know if I'll finish though uh, in one video again. I might need to do uh, two videos because I've put a lot of other jewelry in the, on the second shelf of this box. So the necklace, oh, not this kind of. So I really like the necklace. Um, it's obviously modern, it's not vintage. Uh, it's uh, sort of like a brutalist or like a more modern avant-gardist style. I like this big, the big chains and the irregular shape. Might need to be cleaned up a bit. Although I'm not sure if it's, um, I think it's actually a bit of tarnish here, but that's that. And that's how it closes. Don't think there were any signature or anything. No. I don't know. I like it. I think it would be nice with like a pair of jeans and um, a black blouse. Like very something very simple because it's a very eye-catching jewelry. To go out on a party. What else do we have? Oh, it's been broken. It's just some element of the jewelry and this one is plastic. Now this is a nice brooch. It has the same sort of stripey glass cabochons. Um, and I've recently found out what's their name. Uh, it's porphyry. Porphyry cabochons. And um, mm, I've already actually tucked, tucked it in. Oh no, it's still here. So like, sort of like this one. So this one is English or Scottish. Uh, and they do more like round shapes. You see, it's not faceted. Um, and the metal is very different in jewelry that was done locally. Uh, I don't really like it. I don't like how it looks in the back. It always looks um, a bit cheap, like the metal. I like more... Um, so this one is probably Austrian or maybe Germany. Um, and personally, I prefer like that kind of backing and metal. And they are faceted, as you can see. They have flat faceted uh, fronts. Uh, I've also seen it as melange glass and then this one's porphyry glass. I don't know if there is any like difference, it's just names. Um, but just subtle way to see the difference between the two jewelry. And what else do we have? It's another kind of Scottish jewelry because it has the thistle all around. And it's actually in good shape. Again, sometimes I see them in quite a rough shape just because the way of the metal is this one is in good shape uh, doesn't want to stay don't see any markings and it has this nice glass it sort of has I think it's like yeah imitating agate the banded agate my video shut down for some reason. Right. Some enamel brooches. A bouquet of flowers, of uh, roses. I like it. It's very cute, very like nice, vibrant colors. I like the blue leaves. It's very cute. 
It's probably fish and crown, but I don't see any markings. Another Scottish in or English. This one is actually signed Miracle and written here. And it's another one of these porphyry glass. Again, it's not faceted, it's rounded. It's different shape and color. I think I have something in this color like a bracelet, I think. But this one was actually, um, yeah, I, that, that one was bought as part of a lot <laughs> at a different cardboard sale. And uh, while I was sort of um, trying to get a price for that, I, I lost another flower. See how it's on a, uh, on a, um, what do you call, <laughs> moves about. Um, and I realize now that I think I might rip it if I move it too much. It's a very um, soft metal. And there was another one here, so there were three, three flowers. And when I found it, there were two flowers, but then I lost one. I lost one of the flowers. So I probably could have left it. I didn't realize there was a missing flower. And then I left even the one that was left. Nice pink cabochon brooch with this kind of cabochon that like imitate moon glow or like moonstone. Um, and I've seen those in like blue and white or beige generally. I think I have a similar with the blue color. This is a nice brooch. This uh, cold enamel, a really nice color on the bird there, this bright blue and baby blue color. And um, it has a very big eye, a big red eye. And it looks vintage, at least most of these kind of packings, uh, pins, are sort of 60s, 80s. Um, decades, but um, it looks in a very good shape. Usually this cold enamel chips very easy. Maybe it's not that old. I don't know. It's very colorful and cute. I like that. And another enamel brooch. This time this is a flower. Single flower. Not sure which one. And again, I like the colors, this purple, it's very vibrant. And again, no signatures, but it's probably fish and crown. Um, and yeah, usually it's in gold colors. This one is on silver, but I've seen those. Um, a pendant with a nice Kind of like Celtic design. And this one has like a something on the back. Can't quite make it out. What does it say? Hmm. It almost looks like a big letter A. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it looks like a big cursive A. Maybe it's Avon? Who knows? It's cute. Oh, look at this beauty. <laughs> I quite like that. That's from a cardboard sale. Not, not the initial box jewelry. Uh, I just like the subject matter. Look at this horse. And the leaves, very like westerny. K and T. I don't know who that is. K and T. 
I really like it. It's a uh, it could be nice on a denim jacket or on a coat or a sweater. Oh. Very cute. Yes. What else do we have here? Another animal. This time it's a sea lion, I think. And it's this, um, I think it's like Spanish. Um, and it also like imitates damascine, dama damascine, damascine <laughs> jewelry. But it's not really damascine. It's just black, some black enamel in those grooves. Cute. Another cute flower. I really like it. This really very delicate looking brooch. Brushed gold. Mm, very good shape, like there's no chippings or, you know, the color is still quite there. And then I like the small rhinestone flowers spread all over. Um, I think there's a couple of them missing, but not very noticeable. Might be Sphinx, it's just some numbers there. Yeah, I really like it. It's very cute and delicate and pretty. Now, this one is not as pretty. <laughs> you could always like put these together and then animals together and like pretty stuff and flowers in another <laughs> all kind of jewelry. Um, um, dagger? No, not dagger. What do you? Um, a uh, <laughs> dagger? Do you call it a dagger? Um, a sword. A sword and a shield. Here we go. Um, also kind of Celtic looking. Don't know. Okay, some butterflies. I like this one because it has the enamel and also this like second layer of metal. And this one doesn't look very old. Just kind of this Victorian revival with the plastic. Cabochon that's imitating a pearl. Oh, this is so cute. There's two kitties with blue eyes. There's a missing stone there. But they have blue eyes and bows. Very cute. To my kitties, I have a few kitty brooches. Right, what else do we have here? Oh, um, I think I sold one of those, and then I found another one. Iris glass rhinestones. I know this striped. Everything is striped. Just makes things more interesting. Striped multicolored rhinestones are called iris glass. Like rainbow of colors in one rhinestone. Not really a rainbow, usually like two, three colors. 60s, the starburst design was popular. Um, some branch of Leaves, a bouquet of leaves, kind of abstract, brushed gold, in good shape, the gold. And this is Sarah Coventry Canada. Okay. 
yeah, good quality. You can see how well it has been either preserved or just kept. What else do we have here that I want to show today? Other than next time. So this Fragonard seems the courting couple, this noble couple. Uh, this is porcelain and it's by, hang on, a coal pot made in England. Hmm. I was just looking at the, how do you, huh. The first time I'm seeing that, it has a, some kind of ah, ah, I've never seen anything, I've never seen a pin like that before. It's patented by Coal Pot, as you can see. Interesting. The pin, I'm not like crazy about this porcelain brooches and Fragonard seams, but that's that. A musical key with the marker sides. Unfortunately, one is missing here. And this one is silver. If I, yeah, this is on this from a charity shop, and I paid very little for it. It's signed nine to five. So it's sterling silver and marker sides. So that's very cute. Fortunately, the sun is gone. I'm not sure how bright you can see it. That's that. Very cute. I really like it. We're not a very musical family apart from me. I like to listen to music and all sorts of music. I enjoy it. The uh, rest of us, uh, but I don't play any any instruments. And the rest of us are very indifferent. The rest of the family. Right. That's very cute musical key. One of these jade brooches, jade cabochon brooches. There's no signature. Good shape. And a letter A brooch. Maybe it's D, maybe it's P. Maybe a big D. Oh, it might be like a cap, not capital, capital D. Okay. I think I will be done for today. I'll leave the rest for. I'll leave the rest for next time. Hopefully, it won't be in a year. Bye.